Recently, I had the pleasure of visiting with some of the amazing artists involved in the Sun Valley Film Festival, and this next documentary is certainly one of them. It's called Bastards of Soul. It offers a deep dive into the heart of an electrifying Texas band on the cusp of international recognition. They navigated their skyrocketing success with spellbinding live performances, all during a global pandemic, and then the sudden tragic loss of their frontman, Chadwick Murray. It's a heartbreaking story about music and loss, and I had the pleasure of speaking with the director and producer of this film, as mentioned, during the Sun Valley Film Festival. Check this out. Zach, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. I know you're super busy up there at the Sun Valley Film Festival. Um, Bastards of Soul, an awesome film, a documentary about an incredible band. Why did you decide to share this story with the world? For me, I think it really just came down to the fact that the music, it comes down to the music. <laughs> is really special and we were capturing some performances some music videos uh, beh behind the scenes stuff and then we started realizing we had something special uh, and as it grew and grew uh, the band wanted to go into the studio to record an album and we knew that we just had to like capture those moments those that fly on the wall footage of the band and their camaraderie and kind of the process of making it Okay, so you guys started this process, but then in the middle of the process, something unexpected happened, right? The lead singer and front man, who was a, a friend of mine from high school, uh, passed oh. away in the process, which was really tragic. Um, and we, we wanted to do something with the story, but we didn't know what it was gonna actually be. And Zach, Zach started sifting through the footage and, and I just kind of let go of it. And uh, yeah, I think, Early on, my my job was Paul was so close to it mm -hmm. that it was I kind of took over the responsibility to dive into all that footage. That was a little bit too difficult for him to to approach and yeah. and start just crafting something and sending him an idea of like this is what this studio footage could look like. This is how we could present it. This is where it could go. And yeah, it was one of those one of those projects that started in one place and then ended up somewhere somewhere different, somewhere I think bigger. And, and uh, it's a very powerful story. Yeah, and, and that's the beauty of art, right? Like it, it begins somewhere and then just evolves and grows and just gets a life of its own. Uh, and Paul, I can imagine how emotional that must have been, you know, having such close relationship with the band, with the lead singer himself, and then unexpectedly, especially at such an exciting time for the band, right? Like they were, they were on the rise. They were right on that cusp of just really breaking it. And all of a sudden tragedy struck. That, that must have been very gut-wrenching. Yeah, it was gut-wrenching. It was hard to even look at the footage or even think yeah. about that. Um, but the more that I kind of thought through what we had, it dawned on both of us that we captured uh, a band of brothers, but also uh, a first-time lead singer, performer, realizing his dreams. And we wanted to tell that story. For me, the film is about more than anything else, legacy and how the things that you create outlive you and you live on through those things in a sense. Yeah, for me, I think it's uh, it's that and it's also inspiration for you to chase your your dream and not wait, not wait on it. You know, it's like we never know how much time we have. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But if you have that that thing inside you that's telling you you need to be on stage or you need to, you know, be the best nail tech or whatever it is that's driving you, you need to do it. And where can people watch this aside from the Sun Valley Film Festival? Keep your eye out and your ears out for for it. And uh, hopefully we'll have a trailer soon online and people will be able to hear more of the music. There's some really great music videos we cut from the footage of the documentary. Oh, cool. So, uh, there's a, a music video out there called It's Gonna Be All Right. And, um, and you let me down. Yeah, you let me down. So you, they can go and check that out and, and get a glimpse. Yeah. Wonderful. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it.